let's try and animate this okay first and foremost camera needs to be zoomed in a bit let's say about say about there that's about right and then what we'll do is I think this only has this should only have the text we don't need the emblem on that one if I go to uh, Let's see what happens. Shield logo should show up. Okay. Um, so let's go to group. So let's go to element one, which is the text. Let's go to group. Let's create a null object for that. And I call this. Let's just test it out. Position, move it there. Yep, that's the text. Okay, so now we're gonna go position minus 300, comes out a bit, minus 600. That's cool. I want it there. I'm gonna scale this to about 150. That's too big. Let's go 120. Oh, it's really looking nice I like that and then we're going to have let's just move all these layers down kind of in the way I'll bring the camera up and then now I'm going to call this shield I underscore 3D text like so no, just double check that it's still working. Yep, cool. And then if we come to this element, we can go um, group two, create a null, and then go back again. Let's go to group three, create a null. Okay, so group two should be the the logo so we're going to go position and say minus 300 okay it's a little too big but that's fine and say position for this okay and we'll say minus 100 okay that's gonna have to cover the entire space so now, if I scale this up to 150, let's go 170, let's look here, it's just reaching the edges, which is cool, and then we scale this up to 150. Say one forty five. Mm, one thirty five. Let's try a little bit smaller and go one thirty. Okay. Let's pull this camera out a bit so we can see the whole logo. Cool. We're actually getting somewhere. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab that Marvel logo, make it 3D, and put the position, turn it on, put the position at, I would say, negative 620. Let's move it up. 
scale it down to about 85. Mm, 75. 75. Let's move it down a bit. There we go. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Now we can add a new light. Okay, let's make it green light, blue like that. Now what we can do is actually check the position of this light and the intensity. Let's crank it up to 60%. Kind of like that. Um, I'm going to pull this back to negative 1,500. Or even more. Let's increase the cone of that. Cone angle and cone feather. Increase the radius. Say OK. Cool. All right. Let's pull this back to negative 6,000. Cool. Let's decrease the intensity. That's about right. Okay, then we're going to create another light. So we just duplicate this and change this to a parallel light. Let's say position negative 600. It's about right. Let's just move it. Negative 600. Just move it down. And there. Change the anchor point by pressing A, the point of interest. Let's just move that to negative 300. Um, move that up. I'm going to change this to 960. Now we've got that going on. And I'm going to link this light. I'm going to call it B underscore. Like this. A underscore. Save. I save a lot. It's a habit of mine. I'm going to link this to the text. Group 2 is the emblem and this here is the white ring okay a couple of things I need to do I need to create a little bit of ambient inclusion so if you go to the first element, which is a text, we're going to go to render settings. We're going to go to ambient occlusion, turn it on, crank it up, increase the samples a bit. Cool. Now this one is really going to help it. Render settings, ambient occlusion, enable it, turn it up. Okay, that's too much. Increase that, increase the radius. Okay. Bit of gamma there. Cool. All right. So now we've got our, now the Marvel logo. What we're gonna have to do, this is press AA. Except lights off. Right. Link that to the 3D text as well. And we're going to need that glow. So I'm going to go glow. Let's 
it's not a preset stylized glow uh, the original on top make it like a bluish glow uh, threshold 30 uh, 30 increase the radius Trying to get a nice bluish glow out of this. I'm based on Alpha Journal. Increase the intensity. Increase the radius. Then we're going to copy this glow. And we're going to put it on this element as well. So we got a nice little haze going on. Let's increase the radius and the intensity. There we go. And then we're going to, now that we've got that light over there, we can just try to light up the rest of the scene. So we're going to duplicate this light. I'm going to say position, I'll say zero, and I'm going to push it to 600, let's push it even further back, 1500, okay, just so we get a little bit of a room light going on, let me duplicate this. Let's say position, move this to 2000. So it comes from the other end. And then these two lights, and then increase the intensity of those. Let's actually push these. Position. 2500. Cool. If I were to turn these off. Okay. Now that we've got that, let's go to new. Solid. Call it OF scene. And then we're going to add your co pilot. Optical flares, and switch this to track lights, say light starting with A, why do I not see this light here, this light should be at zero, okay, Let's just this to add. And I'm going to change. I'm actually going to solo this for a second. And I'm going to change, go to options. And now we're going to change these options. We're going to go to the browser. And uh, we're going to find one of the nicer presets. I like. Um, let's just go back. Uh, I like these, yeah. Quite nice. Um, I think that should do the job. It's, I want the spike though. Mm, let's take out some of these elements. Some of these elements I don't want. Just trying to simplify it, honestly. That's all I'm trying to do. And then what I'm going to do on top of that is I'm going to blur this out. So I'm going to go fast blur, 
crank it up to about 50. So it just adds to the scene a little bit. Okay. Now what I also need to do is I need to create another light and I need to push this light, change its point of interest to back there and increase its intensity. So position 960 Need to push it to I'm gonna call this C light. But anyways, this is what we can do just to solve all that problem. Uh accept lights off. And now we have our background back. Yes, and then what we can do is duplicate this and switch that to B. Take off the blur, increase the brightness to 250. I'm going to move this down to about there. So like where the H is. Oh, it's flare. Increase the scale to 150. Let's make it 300. Zoom in a bit. There we go. So now, what I'm going to do with this light is I'm going to move it. But first things first. White ring and the emblem. Okay. So I'm going to move. I'm going to make this the three second mark. So I'm gonna tell the the position for this, position for that, and the position for this to all keyframe two here. And then while we're here I'm gonna push all of these Let's actually do it in two seconds. I'm gonna push all of these back to here. Okay. Then we just Easy ease these keyframe assistant, easy ease. It's actually much faster than that. I think it's probably like in a second it does that. So now other thing I want to do is I want to animate the brightness of the optical flares. So these here. If I press U, I'll be able to see the keyframe. Move that to there. I'll push this up. So if I press zero to animate this, and just to see this all play back, I'm gonna delay some of these, obviously. It's actually not enough brightness. Scale it up as well. 
Let's just press U. Back to one hundred. Easy ease these. And let's press zero again. And once these go down. All the way down to zero. We're going to animate this light, its position from there, moving across the sea, like so. And we easy ease that as well. The time we land there. And then what I need to do with this flare is increase its scale and brightness as well. So now if I press U, and then increase it. By the time I hit here, I think we can actually keep it there. We just drop it to like 300 and make this 350. And all we do is easy ease. There we go. Okay, just one last thing. This camera move is too static and boring. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to the camera, position, and anchor point. So I'm gonna take this, and the anchor point. So position and anchor point. <sighs> Move it there. So now select all of these and do keyframe assistance. Easy ease. Now we have a nice movement. Okay. One more thing. Still a little bit of color correction over everything. I'm gonna call this CC. Do a nice little um, color correction curves. Let's just darken everything a little bit. And give it all a bit of a blue tint. And another thing I want to do is create a new solid. Make sure it's black. Double click on that. Switch that to subtract. Feather, I would say 350. And then let it fade in to 
capacity zero. How well, easy is that too? Should come in maybe around there. Make this multiply. Delete that. Make that the keyframe. Let's just fade this in over time. One more render, Let's see what it looks like. I think that's it. Well, there you go, Marvel Agents of Shield. I think three point. Press N, trim to comp. Let's watch the original. See what that looks like. Don't touch Lola. One last thing, what we do need that I haven't done is select everything, enable motion blur, <coughs> let's select everything, press P so we get the position keyframes, zoom out, I'm going to press the tilde key so I can see all the keyframes at the same time. I'm just going to press U so I can see. I'll let the 3D text come in last. And then just shorten by holding alt I can drag all of these keyframes in cool shorten that do a render Go. Marvel's Agents of Shield. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm Project K, and this has been a really wonderful and long tutorial. <laughs>